Hey everybody, I received yet another email from the City of Oakland, Oakland Police Department through its Public Information Officer, Jonah Watson, and it was posted earlier, as I understood, on Facebook, uh, but this is what this reads. The Oakland Police Department's Departmental General Order C-1 is designed for regulations and specifications regarding uniforms, civilian clothing, and equipment for police department members reserve officers and employees. The order outlines uniforms and appearance for police personnel and professional staff. C1, the section that I refer to, I'm saying this in parentheses, in the previous blog and posted on Oakland News Now entry that I left, this goes back to what Jonah run, I'm continuing that, does not dictate attire for an officer assigned to a specialized unit that involves undercover plainclothes operations. This is intentional for the undercover officer's safety so the officer can dress in a manner that does not identify him or her as a police officer while they're undercover. As stated in the attached message, the concerns of the community have been shared with all department plain clothed officers. Chief Manheimer and all members of the Oakland Police Department share community concerns when perceptions or references are made that will, uh, would associate OPD with any extremist groups. The department recognizes and understands the pain and suffering caused by such extremist groups who are intolerant and instill fear and hatred in our community. OPD stands with our community and will not tolerate any hate crime against anyone in our community. That's Officer John o. Watson, Public Information Officer, Chief Officer of the Chief of Police, Oakland Police Department. Since this was written to me in direct response in an email thread that I established to uh, the mayor and the uh, city council members, this is what I wrote back uh, seven minutes ago. Hello. I was about to, and will post this, what she sent, but the response is troubling. I was informed of, but have not seen, the written responses to this on Mark Zuckerberg's site. And I say that way because that what is what Facebook is, and I know him. I would not have done this. And for one of many reasons, but paramount among them is this statement, quote, C1 does not dictate attire for an officer assigned to a specialized unit that involves undercover plain clothes operations. This is intentional for the undercover officer's safety so the officer can dress in a manner that does not identify him or her as a police officer while they are un un undercover." End quote. Jonah, I wish you would have called me as a sounding board before you wrote that. The main problem is that Oaklanders now, by the thousands, did recognize the officer and had zero idea he was undercover because he looked like an officer in uniform who decided to put on a type of Hawaiian shirt that the Boogaloo boys wear. Also, and I say this as one who has lived in Oakland since 1974, was a red carpet teenage greeter for the Black Filmmakers Hall of Fame in 1975, saw Oakland mature into a city that was proud to have black civic managers, many who were legendary, and myself came to just eight NFL owner votes of bringing the 2005 Super Bowl to Oakland. I should have put in parentheses when no one gave me a chance. None of this is done 
without some respect for institutional memory and protocol. This, the police, constantly putting out statements is such that Oakland Mayor Elihu Harris would have called you and Chief Mannheimer into his office and the conversation would not have been a good one. The simple rule, let the mayor of Oakland talk, not you or the chief of police. This is out of line. It is unraveling at a frightening rate of speed. The mayor of Oakland represents the community over you. Yet both you and Chief Mannheimer respond as if Mayor Shaft does not exist. It is not helping the mayor. We have a strong mayor system for a reason. This is one of those reasons. Let the mayor do her job and speak for the city of Oakland. With much love and respect for you all, God bless. Zenny.